All right, let's turn now to Oklahoma Senate candidate and current Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen, joining us live on the show here. Congressman, good to see you. Thanks so much for coming on here. Uh, Thanks for having me on, Sean. Yeah, good to see you. Uh, big race today. Kimberly uh, was, was laying out a few things in her report. Just your overall response to that. Well, you know, we have, you have the Democrats that say they're the, the supposedly the part of a party of compassion. They're the party of care. And yet they're losing their ever-loving mind because they, they can't kill babies, yet they call it the reproduction uh, rights. I don't understand that because that means life. Uh, when you start talking about what's happening on the border, you have uh, a border crisis that's literally killing migrants, these same ones that they say they're compassionate about caring for, um, yet they're turning a blind eye to it. As you guys reported earlier, there's a semi literally that was full of unfortunate migrants that were, er, that were literally found dead from heat strokes. Um, and, and yet the Democrats are silent on this. The American people are fed up with this. They, they see what's actually happening. And they can, and the, instead of the, the, the left, instead of the Biden and his administration turning back to where the American people believe we should be headed as a country, they're doubling down on this stuff. They're not going, they're not coming back to where the, where the country wants to be. And so the country is going to the Republican Party. And, I, and I'm excited about today. And I'm excited about what's going to happen today, especially in our election. Yeah, and talking about what you just brought up there to your southern neighbor in Texas, in San Antonio, at least 46 migrants yeah. found dead in that uh, abandoned semi-truck. at 18 wheel. Yeah, it absolutely is. It, the mayor, in fact, called it a horrific human tragedy. The Texas governor blaming it uh, on solely on border policy. We've seen it attempts at death, is. but... But this is the highest death count we've seen so far in one one instance there. It's reported that even the ones that survived inside of that trailer, the bodies were, were so hot to the touch they could barely do anything with them. As the temperatures rose, many suffered heat stroke, etc. Just talk to me about that. When you see tragedies like that, do you believe policy, this should push policy? I, I, many lawmakers... Well we have to secure our border, Sean. And when you start looking about it, we know there's this huge national security risk. Unfortunately, we've seen the Democrats, they don't care about national security risk. If they cared about national security risk, then they would be also making sure we're energy independent and not relying on Saudi Arabia. So you can take national security risk and just set it to the side because that's just really not an issue because no one can argue that we've caught over 50 mo uh, terrorists coming across our border just in the last year. So I guess that's something they can set aside and say, okay, you guys win, Republicans are better than that, Democrats, we, we just don't care. But the compassionate side of it, the side that they say that they're always moving towards, remember they're supposed to be for, for the, 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 the minority, for the people that are, are less fortunate, I guess is what they use the term for. They have turned, totally turned a blind eye there too. That's why the Hispanic vote has left them in waves because they know that the Democrats are nothing but a bunch of hot air. All they want to do is just say words and deliver on nothing because they have no policy to actually move forward. If we want to, if we want to stem this pandemic of of, of human trafficking and 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 uh, uh, and drugs crossing our southern border, then we have to secure our border. You can't argue with that, but you can't argue with crazy too. And that's where the left just went. They went completely crazy when it comes to this, and they're just they're just completely ignoring it. I mean, you hear Kamala Harris who's supposed to be the border czar, which I hate hate the word czar to begin with. And she doesn't even go to the border. She doesn't even visit the border. She goes to El Paso and does a drive-by, but yet she's not actually involved in it. How they expect to fix it? Well, how about we go back to Trump's policies? That'll fix it. We we saw the lowest crossings in decade uh, when, when we were instilling uh, tough border uh, uh, restrictions coming across our border and securing it. Th that's not that hard. Yeah, I it just uh, uh, again a horrific scene. You wonder how this administration will respond to this. Again, this they won't. you don't believe so. Now, what, Sean, what are they going to do? They're going to they're going to give the border patrol more authority. They've taken authority away from the border patrol. The border patrol is trying to do their job, uh, and and we know this stuff is going on. Shoot, when I was down there just the uh, just a few weeks ago, I went on horseback with a border patrol, and we saw them running across. In fact, at one time we saw them load a trailer on the south of the border to run down in front of us to drop a load off to cross in a very dangerous area. And the Border Patrol said, watch what they're going to do. They're going to drop them in front of us, knowing that we have to take care of the human aspect of it first, and then they're going to smuggle drugs behind us. And sure enough, when we circled back around, we saw where they were smuggling drugs. We found the footprints where they were smuggling drugs behind us. Uh, and so this is a cat and mouse game. They don't care about the human life. The smugglers, they don't care about the lives of these migrants. Um, uh, but all they want to do is make sure they get fentanyl across 
decided on the state level by the people, not by the court in Washington, D.C. Yeah, absolutely. Families that were trying to find a better life, where the migrants were coming from, uh, that still remains unknown. Um, again, a major investigation and, and a gruesome story there. I've got about a minute and 15 left with you here. If I can ask you, let's uh, pivot to your race. Uh, today's a big day for your camp. I'm curious to know, we've looked at the polling. What's the polling showing? Uh, are you excited about tonight? How are you feeling? Well, we are extremely excited about tonight. Momentum's on our side. We have volunteers in all 77 counties excited about it. Uh, literally, my phone's been going off since 2.30 this morning, which I love it because everybody's excited about uh, what they've been doing. Uh, we, we feel very confident we're going to win tonight. Um, you know, it's going to be tough to get to 50. In Oklahoma, you got to have 50 plus one. In a field of 13 people, uh, we, uh, that's going to be pretty tough. I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's going to be pretty tough. We expect to have a really good night. And people that want to join our fight, it's Mullen for America. I tell people that if we want to change Washington, D.C., we need to put more Oklahoma values in Washington, D.C., but we're fighting for this country. So join our fight at Mullen for America. We need, our, we need all the help we can get. A sooner polls got you up at 39, T.W. Shannon at 13. So you're essentially leading there with 26 points. That was on Friday. Uh, yeah, with 30% on, uh, I think it said 30% still undecided. Is that right, Sean? Yeah, I think so. 30% undecided yeah. there. So we'll continue to watch. You've got a, 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 quite the momentum going right now into it. We'll continue to follow it all <laughs> night here on Newsmax. That is right now Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen. Uh, Congressman, good to see you. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me on, Sean. Appreciate you. You got it. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.